Hello, my name's Winford Dorr. This message is for two distinct groups of people. For those that have just come across the research I'm doing into skill development and want to know why is it there's been some critics of you hanging around for a while. And the second group is those who've known me from several years ago when I was doing all the work with thousands of children and adults with various types of learning difficulty. And in 2008, as far as they were concerned, I disappeared off the scene and they want to know what have I been doing ever since. So there's two groups and I'll tell you. Well, what happened in 2008 was that we'd got amazing research, amazing ways of transforming people without drugs, using exercise-based therapies that were taking away the symptoms. But something I'd not considered in my strategic thoughts, it became a huge threat to various organizations, various people's reputations, researchers and so on. And so they attacked on any scientific basis? Absolutely not. Were they prepared to lie? Yes, several of them were because they were threatened by the fact that we were getting great success and transforming lives. So what's happened since? Well, in 2008, I was, the attacks were so great that new people who had not tried it became very wary about trying it. All those that had tried it, thrilled, excited, and many of them keep in touch to this day, and thank you for that. But for those that hadn't tried it, they became wary. It became impossible to keep all those clinics open. Just I was subsidizing all of them going around the world. I'd put many, many millions of pounds into this. Why? Why did I do it? Because I had a daughter that attempted suicide. She'd suffered very, very badly with learning difficulties. Amazing girl, wonderful teachers, but could not learn basic skills at that time. So I, I talked to researchers about what was going on in the brain, and they, they gave me all sorts of clues and insights and possibilities, and we applied it, and you know what? We found it worked beautifully and brilliantly, gave her hope, gave her skills, basic fundamental skills that changed her life. So we made that available through clinics around the world and we changed many thousands of lives in that process. But when the critics came along, I could no longer subsidize those courses to the extent they needed. I couldn't keep the clinics opened. And so with, it broke my heart, but many of them had to close. Then some, some, some guys came along from, from London and they said, we'll take over the clinics that you've got because we want to keep it going. And that was, that was a great gesture of them. I was so ill, I was so exhausted from having pursued my life purpose uh, because my pursuit of helping my daughter had become so important to me. I'd been a businessman for many years, I'd been very successful, so I'd got you know assets that I could put into this project to put something back, help Susie, help thousands of others, but it drained me. So I was so ill, I was so mentally and physically drained, I took 18 months off. Then one day I woke up and realized I don't really believe that all of these people that have been labeled with such negative things really should be left like that because they've got huge potential. And we started working on an app. I didn't want clinics anymore. I wanted an app that was all about skill development, bringing out the potential of children with, with autism or children that couldn't read or write or concentrate. They'd got skills hidden there. In fact, many of them were brighter than the average. So I'm, I realized that it was my job to come up with something that was all about skill development, that was very accessible, very affordable to all. So guess what? I put a few more million into that project this last few years and enjoying it so, so much. We had our first world champion last year and we've had countless stories of, of, of children along the way and adults whose lives have been transformed. So that's what I'm up to now. And we've got products now for the corporate world to help people perform far better in their work, be more confident, less stressed, and so on. We've got products, of course, for children. And we've got products for the elderly. And we've got products for athletes. All of them drug-free, things you can do at home, all online. And so that's an exciting phase. But something else has happened in my personal life. And that is, at the end of last year, I met my soulmate, Ninka Moditsen is her name, and when I met her, she's from Denmark, when I met her, I realized that her life story was so parallel to mine. She'd had a child with serious autism, 
And as a, he, when he's a young boy, they, the authorities wanted to lock him up and said, look, just lock him up, put him away. And she said, I can't do that. And she toured the world looking for nutritionalists, looking for doctors who understand stood how to detox. And she came up with some programs. And guess what? She transformed her son's life. And since then, every year, she transforms the lives of thousands of women, not in a, a temporary way, but in a lasting way, creating enormous differences in their lives. So I'd gone down the neurological route, touring the world looking for neuroscientists to help my daughter. She'd gone around the world looking for doctors, nutritionalists and other detox experts.